currently in PA, even though we're not in Philadelphia, we're in Oaks. It's okay. It's we're okay. in Oaks. You don't gotta let the you don't you don't gotta let them know. We're just outside of of Philadelphia. Yeah, That's I'm just outside of New Jersey. All right, here <laughs> we go. MVP fighting off against Beast. Now, Beast's Pokemon trainer was uh you know he teamed up with I believe Juice. Yep. I believe yeah. Uh, yesterday ended up getting third place. Found himself in winners finals, but just couldn't find the mark afterwards. So he already put on a dominant performance in doubles from the you know, PA area. Now finding himself in the single side of the bracket here in winner semis of his respective pool. So he can try to put off a fight. Meanwhile, he's fighting off against MPT MVP, the Mario. America Mario. America Mario. So Mario against a trainer. I feel like this is a matchup that should happen a lot, mm -hmm. but we just don't get a chance to see it often. And I think this is going to be an interesting enough match because Mario can get in on all the Pokemon. He could box with Squirtle. He could zone break Ivysaur. And he's got no problem making Charizard combo food. On top of that, Mario's able to stave a pressure back. He's able to run back, space with back air, space with fireballs. He's able to play that slow zoning war, chip away, and force his opponent out of their rhythm. Now, I don't know if Beast is going to get affected by all that, but sticking mostly to Ivysaur, I think he's working out for him pretty well, especially as he's just hairs away from snatching the first stock of the set. So right out the gate, we see Beast uh, doing something completely different from the previous Pokemon trainer that we saw in the last set. What is, okay, if you're just going to throw that down here, going to get that grab back throw, sayonara. But what he's been doing with Ivysaur is he'd hang on to the ledge, like, oh, good God, that... That was, you know, I don't even talk about it anymore. Because he saw MVP, he got an up smash. He whittled down that shield so badly. And because he was holding on the shield so much, he ended up getting a shield poke with both the reverse swing and that back at the end to get the kill. Very smart shield pressure coming from MVP. Curious to see what Beast is going to do here because this has been a very even fight right out the gate. And the combo game with Squirtle, I feel like, handles really well. I personally think that Squirtle is able to manage the best out of the three of them, just because, yeah, he's on the lighter end of things. Yeah, it's not going to take that much for Mario to get the kill, but the importance of being able to get those quick aerials out, he's got plenty of kill confirms of his own right, and Water Gun, too, I think is going to be especially powerful. Get MVP off stage, all of a sudden, a combination of forward airs, nares, and Water Guns keeping Mario at the ledge for oh a hot minute. Oh my god, you saw that smash. neutral! He was just connected to down tilt after down tilt. Got him, slid him across the entirety of PS2 and got the forward smash upon the last tech up. Smart gameplay coming out from Beast, but MVP's not going down without a fight. You see him trying to get these edge guards, looking for these backers. Great parry, potential forward air. He was going for the neutral air because, you know, it's a, he goes for the George of the Jungle recovery with that OP. <laughs> going uh, 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 onto the ledge, but back throw. <laughs> Didn't want to what? What? Did I, did, you okay? I'm just. I didn't think you'd be singing. I, I. I wasn't a sing man. I was swing. I was Tarzan for a second. I didn't know. We were Back throw. One twenty two percent. Look how deep he's going for that. He scared him. That was a Spooksville match. That was. He went off so deep. MVP just just could not get back to the stage because he was threatened by Beast Presence. Watch this again. He still has his double jump. He commit. Wait. He lost his double jump. When did he lose his double jump? Let's watch it again. All right, so we're getting right grabbed. here. We well, got the frame data, and right there, it was literally one frame. He double jumped right before I connected. Oh, that sucks! Right here, right, in. right before I connected. I think that's when he uses double jump. Big flack. My God, disgusting. I mean, you could tell that Beast didn't even recognize this double jump was gone. So now you know if Mario doesn't work, Mario is dead. So Yoshi has to revenge his fallen comrade. I don't like it. What uh, do you mean? It's a green monster versus a green monster. For now. When I say monster, I meant beautiful creatures. No, no, no they're monsters. Okay. Yoshi definitely been a monster. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you get to swing a lot in this matchup for I Yoshi. I thought he was going to connect that spike, man. You saw him. He was ready for that forward air. The desire for a sweet spot forward air courses through the veins of everyone who's ever selected Yoshi. Yes. It, it's kind of terrifying. One thing that should be... Like, Beast should be terrified of in this matchup, though. The Flutter Jump armor from Yoshi can actually get him out of a few uh, true confirms for both Squirtle and for Ivysaur. So this is going to be a lot of just trying to catch him out of the air, just hit with the heavy-hitting moves. Like, another side of not being afraid to swing. And again, the match, you know, starting off insanely aggressive. You saw MVP going for that forward air where Beast was just hanging on to the ledge. Good response. Nair at a shield. going to put a, a large active hitbox. He tries to drag him down. He has to get back on the stage. He, would, he, lo he lost his vulnerability upon regrab onto the ledge. 
That's why he did that. Oh, he didn't think he was going to land right in front of him. Good mash out, but you know he's going to mash down B. That's the classic. Yo, jab one to the Yoshi bomb? Oh, yeah. Send him flying. Grab. Let's see if he's going to get something off of this. Sends him off stage. Ivysaur off. He's going to switch over to Charizard to regain a jump as well as an up B. Some weight. Gets him off him with the high three. Looking for that forward air. How did that whiff? But it doesn't matter. Gets the punish right afterwards with the back air. MVP was moving, but didn't move enough to avoid the back. Rishmo, once again, it's going to connect, but it's not going to kill. I actually feel like Charizard's going to be the answer here, but not if we're throwing out Haymaker flies like that. Well, Beast was actually, I think, I think he went for that up B, the fly, because he wanted to get MVP off of it. Because if that would have connected, it, it has invincibility on the startup. So right, it right. mainly gets Yoshi off, but it was a good bait from MVP because he just punished the cooldown. It's like using a DP, you know? Well, that's exactly what it is. The problem is that yeah. that far above a platform, no safe landing zone, Ooh, and Yoshi go. having some of the best air acceleration in the game, you know he's going to be chilling, waiting to punish that. Take that Vine Whip, son. Okay, up to that shield looking mighty weak. This allows, but if that as long as the shield keeps getting weaker and weaker, it allows MVP to be able to actually just mash that A button on top of him because it'll shield poke. It, it forces uh, Beast to like go with an answer, keep him at a distance, but he's already doing a fantastic job. 85% good recovery from Yoshi, air dodging right through him. Try to turn the tables, but now trying to finish him off with Charizard. He's reversal, oh, neutral air into the back air. Basing on that back air was. Beautiful work from Beast as he takes a clean 2-0 over MVP. He caught him trying to get back onto the stage, man, but it, this is it, it entirely trapped. You saw he had so much control. Right before that, I believe he was trying to like throw out another egg or maybe go for an aerial, but he just got caught completely off guard by Beast. I actually couldn't see what was happening because of this little, like, you, you see that little like, yeah, the, the brick wall, in the left? The, walls the wall was actually blocking what he was doing. Wow. The walls are being put up, man. Uh, dude, break we down the escape. walls, man. It's 1989 all over yeah. again. We're breaking down that wall in Germany. 